Discord here. Today I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use any sound font in GarageBand. If the file you chose and are planning to download and put onto your project ends with a .sf2, then you're done with step one. The second step of the project is to make sure you know where this file is on your computer, so you can go and select once we get to that step. You could simply create a new folder on your desktop and call it sound fonts. Step 3 is to open GarageBand and either create a new MIDI track or use an existing song file of yours. Next select the MIDI track you'd like to completely transform and open Smart Controls. Once this is open, make sure your Smart Controls are set to the Controls section itself in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. There should be a section called Plugins. Open this section and go to the top plugin no matter what it is, and select double arrow icon on the right side of the box. Once this is open, you're going to search for the plugin called AU Sampler. For some of you, it will show up normally, and uh, for some, you might need to hover over AU Instruments, hover over Apple, hover over AU Sampler, and select Mono or Stereo, depending on what you think would fit your project best. So I'm going to choose stereo for this one. A test keyboard should appear. If you click on it, it should make a default sounding synth. Bring your mouse up to the little gear icon. This will open the view settings section in which you can select to either import instrument from DLS file or EXS file. So you're going to select the DLS files section and first search for the folder that you just created. Go to the folder and click on the sound font to highlight it, but don't select it just yet. At the bottom left corner of the finder window, there should be an options button. Click this. The section called instrument name should show up. Click the instrument name and select which sound bank you'd like to choose from. Note, you can only have one foreign sound file on a MIDI track at a time. The main instrumentation file should be under the melodic section. You should be able to scroll through and once you find the sound that you want or would like to experiment with, select it and it should load the sound onto your MIDI track within 10 seconds. If for some reason you can't test the sound by dragging along the MIDI keyboard here, um, just press Command K to open up the keyboard one so you can see you can play with your keyboard. This should be all you need to know about this and um, if you found this helpful please leave a like and yeah that would be very helpful. Peace.